Well, here we are. Uh, it's been a long, long time since I uh, had a go at playing that satellite six-string electric guitar of mine. Uh, managed to get a Strat. It's new. Uh, it's a Fender Stratocaster. Uh, one of the main reasons me wanting one of these is um, it's a lovely sounding guitar and the action is quite low. Uh, I'm not saying it's a beginner's guitar but um, it's a little bit easier on the fingers from what I can remember all those years ago. So anyway, um, I decided to um, do a track called Tombstone and uh, in my new track uh, it involves playing uh, heavy metal riffs and bar chords and whatever. So it's a bit of a learning curve. I've had this guitar about three days now and I've been practicing and I've been putting about an hour aside each evening and uh, I'm nailing it. I've actually managed to nail the seven chord intro uh, on my new track. So over on the uh, computer there, uh, I went and got um, Fruity Loops 12 producer edition. It comes with all wicked plugins and synths and stuff like that. Uh, I used to have um, 3.2 if I can remember uh, years ago but um, on the input on the guitar side on the breakout box uh, on the right hand side of Fruity um, it's got all the boss distortion pedals and reverb and echo delay chorus oh, everything and the Strat sounds so sweet through that crunchy metal distortion so I've gone for that um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get set up and just show you what I've got so far uh, I've sketched the whole track out but I just want to show you the, um, the parts on the guitar mostly the, um, the intro which I've um, learnt so far right so let's, sit, let's get set up and uh, see how it goes okay I think the camera is recording yeah it is Okay, so what I'm going to do is just play the first seven, uh, I don't know what you call them, I guess they're chords, power chords, whatever. Uh, I've only been playing this uh, for about an hour each night uh, from when I got it, so I haven't been, uh, I haven't been on it very long. But anyway, um, this uh, is the sound I'm going to use, uh, it will sound different on the camera mic than it does actually from the digital audio workstation. So. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and uh, uh, this is the first seven chords of Tombstone, which is the intro. <laughs> so that's the seven chords that um, I'm going to play on the intro of my um, track Tombstone. Uh, it's uh, a learning curve, um, like I say, it's been 35 years since I've touched a guitar and um, I've only been playing it for about an hour for three nights but I'm getting on with it just got to sit there keep banging out the chords and um, when I'm happy that I'm hitting them each time then I can record them into the um, digital audio workstation uh, like I said I've been practicing these and um, I've done a few little bits uh, but anyway, I'm going to shut up and let you listen to it. It's only sketched out, it's not mixed or finalised, I've got to do vocals on it. Um, I might get someone else to do the vocal at once like that, Bruce Dickinson uh, vocal range sung on it. Um, and then there's going to be a video. Uh, it's quite a dark track. It's not dark dark like uh, death metal or anything like that. But it is quite dark so I'm going to have um, you know, some spooky skeletons and uh, like a graveyard in the background which will look quite cool but anyway um, that's the progress so far so uh, I'm going to shut up and uh, let you listen to the rest of the track it's sketched out um, I've done a few little bits of guitar nothing fantastic but at the end of the day I want to do a video where I'm actually can be seen to play in the parts uh, which will uh, look quite good I reckon so anyway, I'm going to let you listen to it and I'm going to um, carry on practicing and um, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. 